Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another video. This video is just my quick review and overview of Android 4.2.1 running on the Samsung Nexus S or Google Nexus S. Uh, as you can see we got 4.2.1, it shows it as a Nexus 4 but you can see the uh, capacitive buttons down here as well as the back and just everything about it just screams Nexus S. So before we get started I'd just like to preface this by saying that this is an experimental build I guess you could say. Um, it's, I don't think it's the final product. There are still bugs in it, and it doesn't have all of the features that Raspbian Jelly usually has, which, by the way, is what this ROM is. It's Raspbian Jelly. And I will have the download link down below for the camera, as well as the Raspbian Jelly and any other instructions uh, needed for flashing the camera. I'll post a link to my previous video. Um, first thing I like to go over is the lock screen. We have the new lock screen where I can add widgets, such as the sound search clock, and we can come right here. Uh, to add another widget. Um, if we go back and we swipe to the right, which by the way, if you watched my last video, I said that you can, it kind of lags, so you'd be able to switch back. Tried it on my Nexus 4. Yes, this is possible. So, what you're seeing me do here by switching back, it's possible to do on the Nexus 4. Um, it's just a lot easier on here because the uh, system is not ready for 4.2.1. Um, so you do have panorama if you flash the camera, which will be uh, either linked here or I'll have a link to my previous video, something like that. Um, the camera works, the flash works just fine. So, whoops, go ahead and show you that. You can see the flash work there. Um, you can scroll over, and this is a previous panorama I took. It doesn't look that great. Um, I was trying to do it kind of fast. Um, but so yeah, the panorama does work just as it did before. Uh, if you had the 4.2 camera already installed. Um, so the camera works fine, shouldn't give you many problems. When it's rendering, just try not to do too many things at the same time as it's rendering. It'll give you a little notification up here if you exit. Um, it doesn't like that. I tried doing, uh, I tried even just toggling something like going into brightness and setting something while it was rendering and it kind of lagged a lot. I had to press the home, uh, the power button and wait for it by maybe about 20 seconds for it to get ready. Um, so just don't try to try not to do too many activities basically while it's rendering. The performance seems just fine uh, other than when you're rendering. Um, I haven't noticed any lags or uh, well there's been lags but I haven't noticed anything really bad that um, uh, that maybe wasn't there before I guess is what I'm trying to say. It There will be lags and hiccups from time to time but it's nothing that, I, in my opinion, I wouldn't be able to use uh, on a daily basis. But you might not be able to handle it. Um, I don't use this on a daily basis anymore. I do. I use my Nexus 4 now. So some bugs I, I might not be able to catch since I'm not using it as a daily driver. But from what I've been using so far, uh, it's been fine to use as a daily driver. Now it is a little hiccupy and laggy at times. Uh, like I said, the phone, not sure how well that works. I believe it does work. But... I can't test it out since there's no sim in here. Um, we do have quick settings like I kind of showed you up here. These are now toggles rather than just quick settings. Uh, sort of what I feel Android 4.2 should have had. Um, but you can turn GPS on and off. You can have your torch which is the flashlight. And you just have a whole slew of, uh, of options to toggle. You can go into the quick settings app which if you just open the app drawer and slide right over you, you have a uh, quick settings. And if I wanted to toggle or have my screen off, uh, off, the screen off, off, I guess, um, and the Wi-Fi AP on, um, you should be able to go to apply settings and uh, it'll go ahead and restart the system UI. And if we go back up here, it doesn't show that the changes actually took effect, though. That's one thing that I've had a little bit of trouble with. Trouble with. Um, the first time I tried it, it worked fine, no problems. And now that I'm shooting the video, it doesn't seem to want to co cooperate. So hopefully that'll be fixed in a, in a newer build of Raspbian Jelly. Um, the keyboard is also new. I'm going to pull this away just in case. There we go. Um, the keyboard is also new. You have the new uh, swipe-ish keyboard, the gesture typing keyboard. So the quick brown fox um, six. So we can go ahead and click that. I really like this keyboard. Um, so yeah, uh, it works just fine. And if you did watch my uh, if you watched my 4.2.1 in emoticon uh, support, native emoticon support uh, video, um, 
this does not have it, unfortunately. I, I looked and all it has is the AOSP uh, keyboard as well as the Google voice typing. So there's no uh, support for emoticon in here, which is unfortunate because those are always fun, you know? So I believe the last thing I'd like to talk about is the battery. Um, the battery, since again, this isn't my daily device, I haven't been able to actually test it, but the battery, I'm, I'm guessing, I mean, I'm going to make a guess. You guys can, can sound off in the comments if you guys use this uh, ROM, but uh, you can see here, this is two days, 18 hours. Um, probably not the most accurate since you guys aren't going to keep your phone on airplane mode for two days um, and the Wi-Fi off for two days, but that's what I can give you. Um, so I hope I hope uh, you guys install this and check it out for yourself. It's a it's a great ROM. I really like Raspberry Jelly. I enjoy it because it's um, it seems to be less loaded. I guess you can say less loaded with uh, features and customization options as uh, uh, like CM10 has or uh, SignageMon at all. Um, and it sort of feels like it's it's just it's a more I guess airy. It doesn't have so many things going on, which is uh, good for older phones like this. Not to knock CM10 at all or any versions of CM. I just I really like Raspberry Jelly. Um, I'll let you guys see the RAM running and what I have. I got Astro, Maps, Google Services, Android Keyboard, and Settings, and I'm at 140 free and got 206 used. So uh, just in case you uh, people, you guys want to see what the RAM is. Um, so that that's about it. That wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's something I missed or anything else you guys want me to talk about, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Like this video, subscribe for more, or I believe the subscribe button is now down there. I was watching a video. Uh, anyway, I believe the subscribe button is down now down there, so go ahead and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for my giveaway because I will be having a giveaway. Uh, I've decided I think I'm going to go ahead and give away an Amazon gift card as well as a Google Play gift card. The value, uh, still not sure yet, but just stay tuned for that. Uh, in the coming days, I will have my video up. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.